are Bronte's babies. Hey Bronte. Hey baby. <laughs> come here, come and say hi. Come and say hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> you sleepy girl, hey? Yes. She's just fed them. And we've got a boy and a girl. Is that your baby? And get your face out of the way for a minute. We're showing everyone your babies. Boy and a girl. Six days old today. Born by a caesarean section. Those are your babies. Move your head for a minute so we can see your babies. Aren't they gorgeous? Yes, you're gorgeous too. Yes, you are. You're a gorgeous girl too. Yes, you are. G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I got, crushed glass. Now in the one of my previous videos, I said to you, I'll show you how I make my colored crushed glass. I've only got a little bit of the copper left. This is the one I used in that um, copper coaster that I did. I've only got a little bit left, so I thought I'll make some more. Uh, that was my gold that I made. I'm not sure if I've used it yet. I might have. I can't remember. <laughs> but um, I'll, that's today's video. Now, a lovely lady by the name of Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. She told me uh, how she made the uh, crushed glass like this. And look, there's lots of videos out there uh, where people use these glass buttons. Um, I think they boil them and then put them into freezing water and then they crack them and then they crush them. And I just thought, eh. That's just too hard. So, <laughs> I basically start with this one. If I can open it. It's just mirror glass. Now, it's called Coulot or Coulot. You can buy it from Ikea online. Ikea. Um, or you can buy it on eBay. So, let's just do... Oh, I don't know. What's that? About a third of a cup. You can. I have seen it in these colours. So I grabbed them when I could. There's a green. And a purple. Or amethyst. And there's also... Um, it's more of a... I don't know. It's like a teal. I guess. Aquary colour. So you can buy those colours. But if you want to make your own colours start with the the plain mirror let me just get these out of the way so what we'll do is we'll have um, magenta the pinata alcohol inks that's that one and then we'll do some um, if you're gonna make it you might as well make a decent amount hey and then we'll do some more copper because I need more copper. And then we'll do some red. I'm keen to make a red coaster set. Um, haven't done one yet in reds. So keen to do that. I have actually bought some more. because See, that's nearly gone now. <laughs> because um, I'm using a lot of it. So I have bought another one. Actually, I've ordered another two bottles. So that um, I'll have plenty to make different colours with. Right, but for today, those are our colours. So get your gloves on because alcohol inks stain your skin. And I have to go to work tomorrow, so I can't go to work covered in multicoloured fingers now, can I? So you'll need, obviously, a cup. Plastic cups are good. Um, a stirring stick, your alcohol ink, some little containers. These um, are actually um, for baby food and they're great because it's a good size and it's got a little lid and you can make up all different colors of glass and pop them in there. You don't have to make up as much as that. You know, you can just make a quarter of a cup, put them in there and you've got two, four, six, eight different 
colors. And then you'll need some paper towel to lie them on to dry overnight. Now, one thing that I have been told, if you use this glass that's been made with your alcohol ink, when you're making your coasters, don't add alcohol ink to your coasters or your colors will run. So you can use these colors that you make up with mica powders, pigment pastes, but just don't add alcohol ink to it, okay? Because it'll run. Give them all a good shake. Now it's up to you how much color you want to use, okay? So you can just start, I'm actually just gonna go squirt, we have a bit of a squeeze and squirt it. You love that crunchy sound. So depending on how much color you want, oh look at that, will determine how much uh, ink you use. But oh look, probably for that third of a cup you'd need maybe 10 drops or you know a little squirt, but whatever you want to do. And look, it's as easy as that. All right, so that's that one done. I like the color of that one. So that was the Senorita Magenta. Move that out of the way. I've got these little colors here that I, this is what I do when I get my alcohol inks. That's the magenta there. And there's also a pale pink. If you wanted to do a pale pink, you could do the pale pink. There's purples. Um, the red one is chili pepper, which is this one. I was tossing up between using the Sangria Or the chili pepper. This one's more of a burgundy. Maybe you end up doing both. <laughs> I don't need to make green because I've got green already. So but anyway, we'll see what the, the chili pepper looks like. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is amazing. Look at that colour. <laughs> I guess I could have made up a little bit. Oh, maybe I put too much ink in. I don't know. All right, now the next one. Copper. I can hear the ball in this one. I can't hear the ball in the others. Just make sure I'm still taping. Okay, now this one again, just a squirt. You can always add more. And I guess some colours will be stronger than other colours. You may have to add more. The metallic's not covering as well as the, the pink did. So uh, another squirt. I think the ball's in the way. The other colours don't have balls, but I can hear the ball in that one. So I've got clear, green, purple, Aqua, I really do need, I'd like a dark blue, I think. Pink, copper, gold, that's going to be my red. Um, what else? I can make up some other colours. I think I'll add a bit more. It's tricky to get it out because the ball keeps moving to the front. Okay, that's looking better. So basically just put in as much or as little as you want. It's very crunchy, isn't it? And loud. <laughs> oh my gosh. That woman who doesn't like me scraping my cups of acrylic pouring because it's too loud. She's going to hate this. <laughs> yes, you know who you are. She's probably not watching. Okay, so there's that one. It's the copper. You can still see, I don't know if you can pick it up, but you can still see the mirror. Like it doesn't seem to stick to the mirror side. So you still get that really pretty reflective surface. Okay, put the lid on that. And uh, you know, it will dry slightly different as well, probably a little bit darker. Now for the red, I guess I could always um, mix my two reds together if I, if this was like too bright. Let's do a little squirt. Oops, you don't want to come out either. Maybe you have got a ball in there. Nope, doesn't want to come out like the magenta did. 
Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, I'm definitely going to have to make some red posters, you guys. Wow. Okay, so it's a little bit pale still. It's kind of more orange. Let's add some more. It doesn't want to come out. All right. We'll just add more, depending on what colour you want. I think I might actually add some of the... Still a little bit orangey. That was the colour there. I think I'll add some of this sangria to it and see if I can get a slightly darker shade. I don't think there's any harm in mixing two colours together. Uh, sangria, there we go. Give it a good shake. Shake, shake, shake. And I'll just put a little bit. Oh, you, you come out fast. How come some come out fast and some don't? See how dark that is? Oh, look at that. Wow, that's much more of a ruby red colour, isn't it? Oh, I want to do a red coaster now. I haven't done a red one yet. And I think this glass looks really pretty if you do, you know, a clear centre or clear edges with the glass in it so that you can actually see the glass. Makes a statement. Look at that. Very pretty. Okay, I think I'm, I like that colour. I'm going to leave it like that. Put my bottles away. Now the only other thing you need to do is... Oops, where did that come from? Lay down your pieces of paper towel. Like so. Let me make sure I'm still in frame for you. you in a little bit all right so now what we need to do is we need to tip these babies out onto the paper towel you could keep your cups now if you ever need to make up more pink then it's it's done so there we go you can use that same cup again so just spread this out um, and let it dry basically try to spread it out so that not too much is kind of overlapping so it can all dry and then um, I don't know later on today or tomorrow whenever I get to it I'll have to work tomorrow so I'll probably do it tonight I'll come back to you and, and I'll, we'll just tip them into their little containers Try not to get my colours mixed up. Oi, get back over there. No crossing the borders. <laughs> so depending on sort of what colour shade you want, you might want to add, you know, if you wanted a, a more of a rose gold, you could add some gold to your copper to get more of a rose gold, I guess. Here's the red. Oh, this is my favourite. Wow. Love this one. And how easy was that, hey? So you don't need to shop around buying all different colours of glass. Just buy the, the clear mirror glass. This looks like silver, really. And then just um, dye it, basically. You're going to tint it. So when I used the copper to make my my copper coasters, um, you, as hopefully you saw the video, like it didn't run or anything, you know, the colour stayed. <laughs> you're, you're in the wrong spot. So there we go. <clears throat> right, let me get you down for a quick close-up. Not that you need one, but I'll go anyway. All right, so that was the magenta. 
and you can see the mirror how it's still sparkling very shimmery and over to the copper <laughs> it's reflecting my blue shirt that I've got on and there's that gorgeous ruby red so remember it was the chili pepper with just a little splash of the sangria but if you wanted it darker I guess you could just do the sangria um, and have more of a burgundy so that's them um, I'll come back to you shortly when they're dried and we will decant them into their bottles righto guys um, I went out and did some grocery shopping and ran a few errands and come back I think they're pretty much dry really it's just a matter of kind of you know stuck together a little bit so just have to loosen them I just do this I push them all into the center now don't cut yourself it is glass remember but it's not like sharp glass but be careful anyway just in case there is a sharp one I move those out of the way a little bit so that my colors don't mix so just break them up they're all a bit stuck to the paper towel because you know they were wet so they've stuck a bit and um, yes they're in big clumps some of them so just break them all up doesn't that look pretty loosen them all from the bottom and see none of it's coming out on my my fingers they're all not it's all nice and dry it's only been a few hours and then I can just pop them back in there Oh, I made a lot look at that it's almost full let me just tap that down a bit there we go just fits hey just like I bought one so there we go and then my red one you get the general idea don't you but look I'm just actually this one's not as not as difficult to um, push around I did have to add a lot more of the um, copper ink didn't I so it was yeah it was much more kind of sticky this one's this one's a bit drier it's easier to work with make our little funnel and in it all goes beautiful look at that so pretty so you pay a lot of money for all these different colors so it's just great if you can make it yourself hey and the pretty pink magenta whoops there's a bit of copper in there um, I, I'm going to make a pale pink as well because this is just even though it's gorgeous it's very bright I'll have to find a it's sort of more of a um, it's more of a purpley pink isn't it it's very pretty all right, let's get the lid off. And in we go. There we go. That was just the right amount, wasn't it? So there we go. We have all our different colors. There's my gold from last time. And it's as easy as that. So have a go at making your own colored glass. It's easy. It's a lot of fun. It's not expensive. And um, yeah, go for it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.